going on you guys so money in the bank just a little quick review on the show I thought the show was all right money in the bank match definitely could have been a lot better but you know it's just what can you really expect you know I mean it's we just had a pay-per-view not too long ago now they just got this but the next pay-per-view is not going to be for another like five weeks which is going to be uh, Battlegrounds so yeah we had uh, what it was Elimination Chamber like two or three weeks ago and then we just had Money in the Bank but Money in the Bank is always one of those pay-per-views that's always fun to watch always something good only thing I hate about like Money in the Banks now is there's only one there's only one Money in the Bank you know technically Money, Money in the Bank match it used to be two with the red uh, briefcase and the blue briefcase now it's just, you know, one, or it's been one for a while now, but I used to like it when it was two, just, you know, give more wrestlers a chance, like, you know, there was no Cesaro, like, why the hell would you have Kane in there instead of somebody like Cesaro, or, you know, give somebody else an opportunity, uh, so yeah, I didn't like how Kane was in the match, uh, so yeah, Sheamus ended up winning the Money in the Bank match, if you haven't already known, uh, how I feel about that, I was rooting for Ziggler to win out of all those guys, actually, and, uh, yeah, a lot of people weren't happy. Personally, you know, I don't care. You know, Sheamus, Sheamus was like, you know, big in WWE at one time. Then all of a sudden, his stock just completely dropped. So I think Sheamus can do big things with it. Hopefully, you know, heal Sheamus, cut some good promos, and uh, should be good. You know, I personally would rather have had Sheamus win over Roman Reigns. I think Roman Reigns is going to get a push regardless. So we'll see where that goes with Sheamus being uh, the Money in the Bank winner. Uh, let's see what else. Kevin Owens, John Cena, best match of the night. Just like the last pay-per-view where I said at Elimination Chamber in my other video, match of the night. This was, again, match of the night. John Cena was wrestling good. Kevin Owens wrestling good. It was just an overall good match. And, uh, yeah, Kevin Owens may have lost, but you know what? At the end, he did go over. John Cena wanted to give, like, a handshake or something. Uh, Kevin Owens just kicks him, you know, and just kick, completely kicks his ass. Ends up going over at the end of the match, even though he lost. Uh, so, Cena may have won the match, but Kevin Owens goes over at the end by attacking him. So now it's, you know, I guess you can't really expect Kevin Owens to win two pay-per-views in a row against John Cena. You know, he, he, we were all surprised that he won the last one. Uh, nobody really thought that somebody from NXT, coming up from NXT, would be, you know, pretty much the face of WWE. So that was pretty cool to uh, see him win Elimination Chamber. And even though he lost, he still, you know got over but uh yeah I mean let's see what else the main event or actually before we get to the main event before we get to the main event by the way the sign of the night let me pull up this picture oh my god you know I just wish I would have got a this is why you do not I was about to go take a like a piss break or something just not even pay attention to this match uh but some girl during the Ryback Big Show match I thought this match was gonna be complete crap uh <laughs> Some girl had a sign. I don't know how well you guys can see that. You can eat me, Ryback. I was just like, what? <laughs> her sign, I don't know if her sign got taken away or what happened, but unbelievable, man. That chick had, like, purple hair or something. Now it's just like, man, that chick must be some, you know, she must be some freaky chick with that kind of sign saying, you can eat me, Ryback. I just, I just was dying laughing. I'm so glad I got a picture of that. And... <laughs> That was definitely sign of the night. Definitely sign of the night. Uh, but yeah, I just sorry, sorry. I just it was so damn funny. Like some wrestling fans sometimes just <laughs> I'm doing with these signs. That's why I love watching these Raws, whatever. It's always the best signs. You know, there was, there's always such good signs at these shows, and I just I love that. Uh, but yeah, Ryback uh, ended up winning. By or no, uh, Big Show ended up winning by disqualification, but Ryback retained his title, so you know, nothing, nothing changed there. Uh, what, what was it? Nikki Bella beat uh, what was it? Page. Nikki Bella beat Page, and it was kind of stupid. You know, Page should have won that match. Uh, they had that little stupid twin magic thing switch and all that. It was so stupid. You know, they, after uh, they did the twin magic switch, uh, Page pinned uh, Brie Bella, and then the referee said, "No, it's not." That's not Nikki, so it doesn't count. And then Nikki comes, attacks her, and then beats her. It was just, you know, it was stupid. Uh, but, you know, I guess maybe they want to break AJ's record or something with that. She's like, she said, like, over 200 days now or something. So maybe they're going to have her break AJ's, like, 260 or 261, whatever it was, uh, title record. 
But uh, yeah, main event Ambrose and Ambrose and Rollins. You know, I kind of figured Rollins would win. You know, no help from anyone. It was kind of the finish was kind of like <laughs> both grabbing the title at the same time. Uh, people were like, some I know a lot of people were pissed. They were expecting Ambrose to win, but uh, you know when they both got up there, Ambrose got his hands on it first. I'm like, okay. So Ambrose gets his hands on it first, and you know Rollins gets Rollins is actually the one that unbuckles it, and like you know then they fall, and Rollins ends up being the one that you know pulls it away, and then I guess they announce Rollins as the winner. So I didn't really know how that. You know, you really can't tell like who maybe who, the person who has his hands on it first, the person who falls with it first. I don't even know, uh, but they both had it in their hands as they were falling, but then Rollins is able to pull it away. Uh, but it was. You know, it was it was a good match, but in my opinion, my favorite match was Kevin Owens John Cena. That was the best match of the night. And what else am I missing? The tag team match, Prime Time Pleasure, New Champions. Uh, that, that was long overdue. They should have been champions before they even broke up. Uh, but yeah, I guess they got to make them, you know, relevant again. Give them the titles. No Usos on this pay per view. That was, that was surprising in a tag team match, but overall. You know, it was a decent show. I can't complain about it. You know, it's it's nine ninety nine. <laughs> That's what you're paying. It would be nice to have been there to uh, the fun pay per view, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, so, yeah, guys, can't really complain about it. Good show. We'll see what's in store for the next pay per view. We're going to see. The, oh, and uh, Roman Reigns got screwed in that Money in the Bank match. How the hell did I just completely miss this? Roman Reigns got completely screwed. Roman. Everyone thought Roman Reigns was going to win. I thought Roman Reigns was going to win. Roman Reigns at the top of the ladder. And pretty much gets screwed out on it. Bray Wyatt automatically just just shows up. You know, the lights turn off. You hear that Bray Wyatt sound. Bray Wyatt pretty much just you know gets uh, Reigns off the ladder, and Reigns gets screwed. That's uh, pretty much what happened. To Reigns. Reigns looked like he was going to be winning it, and he got screwed out on it. So I guess WWE threw us a curveball. Everyone would have been complaining if Reigns won, and everyone's still complaining, or most people are still complaining that. Sheamus one, but you know, hopefully something good comes out of it. So uh, yeah, guys, drop your uh, comments down below. What you thought about the show? Uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and uh, Instagram. I'll have all that stuff down below. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys later. Peace out.